Bitcoin can go up and down, you know, just based on the mania or, or whatever the views are. And I, you know, I don't have a way of predicting uh, how that will progress. Why aren't you bullish on Bitcoin? Charlie and Warren have weighed in on Bitcoin. Do you own any? Uh, somebody gave me some for my birthday. Uh, and then a few years later, I thought, hey, I'm going to sell that. So no, uh, you shouldn't expect it to go up. Uh, it's, it's kind of a pure greater fool theory type uh, investment. Now that said, I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious for your thoughts here because Tesla could potentially make more money from its Bitcoin investment this year than profits from electric cars in all of 2020. What's your take on that? What What's your Bitcoin take and, and the fact that the price can just go up or down based on a simple tweet from him? So, you know, I, I, I agree. I would, I would short it if there was an easy way to do it believe it or not, of Bitcoin, because some people have said, hey, Bitcoin is the answer to those problems. Are you a believer? Well, Bitcoin is exciting because it shows how cheap it can be. Uh, Bitcoin is is better than currency in that uh, you don't have to ha be physically in the same place. And of course, for large transactions, currency can, can get pretty inconvenient. The customers we're talking about aren't trying to be anonymous, you know, they're willing to be uh, known. So it, 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 the Bitcoin technology is key and you could add to it or you could build a similar technology uh, where there's enough attribution that people feel comfortable. This has nothing to do with uh, terrorism or uh, any type of, of money laundering. Bitcoin is worthless artificial gold. Bitcoin reminds me of Oscar Wilde's definition of fox hunting, the pursuit of the uneatable by the unspeakable. I think it's a scumball activity. Does that better serve you better? Thank you. Yeah. Um, Bill, Charlie and Warren have weighed in on Bitcoin. Do you own any? Uh, somebody gave me some for my birthday. Uh, and then a few years later, I thought, hey, I'm going to sell that. So no. Uh, there's some really good technology in terms of sharing databases and verifying transactions uh, that is talked about as blockchain. That is a good thing. Bitcoin and ICOs, I agree completely. Uh, it's one of the crazier speculative things where it's not as, a, as a, an asset class, you're not producing anything. Uh, and so you shouldn't expect it to go up, uh, it's it's kind of a pure greater fool theory type uh, investment. Um, so, you know, I, I I agree. I would I would short it if there was an easy way to do it. Look, Elon has tons of money and he's very sophisticated. So, you know, I'm I don't worry that uh, you know his Bitcoin will sort of randomly go up or down. I do think people get bought into these manias who may not have as much money to spare. So I'm not uh, bullish on Bitcoin. And, you know, I, my general thought would be uh, that, you know, if you have less money than Elon, you should probably uh, watch out. Why aren't you bullish on Bitcoin? It's, it's look, there are things we invest in in society that produce output. Uh, Bitcoin happens to use a lot of energy uh, it happens to promote anonymous transactions. They're not reversible transactions. Our, the Gates Foundation does a lot in terms of digital currency, uh, but those are things where you can see who's making the transaction. Uh, so digital money is a good thing. Uh, uh, and, you know, there's a different approach that's local currency and attributed. And, you know, deals with all the money laundering and terrorism type regulations, and yet gives you the very com the convenience and the low cost of transaction. I don't own Bitcoin. I'm not short Bitcoin. Uh, you know, so I've taken a neutral view. I do think you know moving money into a more digital form uh, and getting transaction costs down. That's something our the Gates Foundation does in developing countries. Uh, but there we do it so that you can reverse the transactions, so you have total visibility of who's 
uh, doing what. So it's not about tax avoidance or illegal activity. Uh, but, you know, Bitcoin can go up and down, you know, just based on the mania or, or whatever the views are. And I, you know, I don't have a way of predicting uh, how that will progress. Explain to me what the f- Bill Gates was talking about when he was saying that you can't do trucks. Well, what, what was? Yeah, I didn't know what you're talking about. Why did he say that then? Like, why would someone? I don't know. Probably somebody told him that, and you know, he's he just, just not, repeated it. He's just not that close to the physics of it, and so it was because I, I don't remember, think he's ill-intentioned here. He just right. doesn't know what he's talking about. But why say it then? Like, you think about a guy who's so involved in technology, you would think you would only talk about things you understand. I don't know, it's weird. I also heard that at one point he had a big short position against Tesla, which was kind of, I don't know if that's true or not, but it seems weird. Uh, people I know who know, know the situation well, they, they, they said, are you sure? They said, yeah, he had a big short position against Tesla, which obviously didn't work out too well. 